Facilitation Board and Confederation of Indian Industry in collaboration with Invest India today are organizing Invest Goa 2024 which is an investor summit aimed at attracting new investments to the state of Goa. This conference has uh, the following objectives. The first thing is that uh, Goa is known to be a great tourist destination but there is also a thriving industrial ecosystem in the state of Goa and this conference main purpose is to tell the rest of the country and also the world <coughs> the story of Goa's industrial growth. Second, the government under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savan and under the leadership of Honorable Minister for Industry Sri Movin Bodino and also under the leadership of Honorable Chairperson of Goa IDC Sri Alex Reginaldo Lorenzo has taken a lot of reforms in the last one year which are radical and progressive and we are very confident these are one of the most industry friendly policies in the country. So we wanted to announce these regulations to the investors. We also wanted to showcase our opportunities which are available for the industries. Currently there are 43 plots which are available on e-auction mode to the industries. 16 of these plots are located in Verna industrial estate and 27 plots are located in Latambasam industrial estate. The plots in Latambasam industrial estate have been exclusively earmarked for manufacturing of food products and manufacturing of beverages. We wanted to bring together the investors from across the country who can network, share their feedback and also utilize these opportunities to invest in Goa and to create jobs in the state of Goa. With this brief address, since all our media friends were present in the plenary session, I would now open this press conference for question and answers. Honorable Minister, the President of CIA, Honorable Chairperson will take the questions and respond to your questions. Thank you very much. Just brief now first. Just brief about this. Okay. Yeah, okay. As you know, this is. Uh, as you know, uh, this is uh, one of the first of its kind uh, investment summit, which is taking, which has taken place in Goa today, and. Uh, the highlights of this you already know but still uh, uh, I would uh, still like to repeat them for your sake since you want it. We have unveiled new GIDC regulations, <coughs> launched GIDC online portal based on uh, EPG, launched revamped GIPB website, GPS based land bank in association with BI SAG N linked with Goa Shakti portal. Gati Shakti portal. What I want to say is, we have gone digital in a big way. I think some newer things have happened much <coughs> ahead of uh, other states as well. Like you saw an application, technical application being cleared in less than a second. So that is the level we want to go by evolving a transparent system. My colleague here who is the chairman of uh, uh, GIDC, Mr. Reginaldo Lorenzo, Mr. Pravimal Abhishek, with their support, we have been able to make everything transparent as far as the land allocation is concerned. For the first time, on the website, you know which plots are available where, which plots can be allocated by Investment Promotion Board or GIDC and which are there available for auction because land is a precarious commodity, especially in a small state like Goa. And one thing perhaps uh, which is also very important I want to mention to the press because I forgot only one point. For the existing industry, we want them also to expand. We are going to change the FAR in the industrial estates. We are going to double it. So for those existing units which are already thriving, if they want to do some additional, they want some additional workplace, they want to do something more, then they will be allowed to go vertical. This is shortly going to happen. And then two things have happened which are very, very important. Mr. R. Dinesh, who is the national president of CII, he has, we have signed a MOU, TVS, SCS Global, 
Freight Solutions Limited. This is going to generate employment, I think, to the tune of almost uh, 1,000, as, uh, as was said. Direct and indirect, it's going to generate employment of 1,000 people. So one MOU has already been signed. And as I know Mr. R. Dinesh, once he says something, he does it. I'm very thankful to him for having chosen Goa as an important destination for the next investment. As you know, he is from the TVS group, which is a very successful group, have climbed uh, so many stages higher than many of his peers. So he is a performing person. I am sure that with his industry coming up, it will help Goa in a very big way. Then you have the Pai Kane group. They have also signed a many, uh, MOU for manufacturing of energy equipment. So already two, uh, literally on a fast track, two MOUs I signed. We expect many such MOUs to be signed. We expect more industry to come. And we are very careful while doing this. We have environment friendly industry. As you know, after having introduced three new policies, one is the new industrial policy, one is warehousing and logistics policy, one is the new regulations which we have launched today. As far as GIDC is concerned, our whole effort is to change the industrial scenario. Goa known for tourism, Goa known for beaches and temples, will be in future known for one of the best environment friendly industry, promoting economic activity, promoting growth. So this is the way we plan to move forward. Now you can shoot your question. You have Mr. R. Dinesh, who is the uh, national president for uh, CII. Then you have the director general, Mr. Chandrajit Banerjee. You have Swati Salgonkar, who is also the CII president for the Western region. You have uh, the MD of uh, uh, this uh, GIDC, Mr. Pravimal Abhishek, IPO, I Investment Promotion Board, uh, CEO, uh, Swatika Sachin, as well as none other than Reginaldo Lorenzo, who is the chairman who has initiated change in GIDC under his charge. So please shoot your questions. Around. What about sir, IT, industries? IT industries? What about IT industries? IT industry is an environment friendly industry. We are promoting IT in a big way. I know in the past, uh, with the past government, uh, even though a year, uh, area was earmarked in Dwanapal, as you know, <coughs> and you perhaps must be knowing history, we don't go, want to go into that past, that did not take off. Now it is our endeavor to encourage and build up even the IT industry. Sir, you are always calling from the green industry and all government always calling uh, say for about green uh, industry environment for friend industry but pichle covid ke baad dekha jaye to tourism ke upar bahut sare effect hue hai kya kya plan hai government ka jo tourism industry hai beaches hai wahan pe already logon ko bahut pareshaniyan jhelni padti hai kya plan se abhi you are talking i don't really quite comprehend your question. You are asking problem? about tourism and tourism, tourism related tourism. problem. Even then it is a collective responsibility. I will simply uh, sum up by saying that as you know we are <coughs> under Swachh uh, Bharat Abhiyan program, SBM program, we are laying a lot of emphasis on cleanliness of not only beaches, cleanliness of entire Goa. In my own uh, constituency, recently I have the wealth out of waste plant to handle waste. We want to replicate this model which has been appreciated by the central government as well. In fact, uh, if I, if you remember the Honorable Vice President was supposed to pay a visit to that but because it was dark that day he could not visit. Mr. Chandrasekhar, who was the uh, minister for the, in the same ministry, Jal, uh, 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 Jal Ministry. He also couldn't come because he fell sick in Goa and he went the previous day. All this scheduled visit means it is something which is talked about. This we are replicating in other parts of Goa. So as far as tourism is concerned, we are giving all the attention to keep Goa clean and green. Huh? And other initiatives in terms of uh, ultimately tourism also is an industry. Anything investment that is made in tourism will be classified, it will come to investment promotion board, we will clear the proposal. How would you like to tell your investors or whoever has been present here with the easy access online system like getting those permissions and all, which you all have shown today. That is one thing and second thing especially on the land bank so your system which you all have developed. 
See, this is something new which has happened. Obviously, to absorb change, it takes a little time. I don't think since it is IT related, since it is on the digital platform, it will take that much of time. Soon people will get used to it. You need not worry about that. Sir, you have opened a bit of also real estate, which is opening for the first time. You want real estate guys to create uh, infrastructure and hand it over for the businesses because they don't have time and resources for that. But don't you think by opening this, some real estate giants might monopolize by taking over all your plots, okay, and selling it or subleasing it at a higher rate to the industry? I believe in being positive in life, <laughs> and ours is a very positive. Uh, thinking no, my and listen listen to me negativity we don't think of because we will ensure that they really go for the purpose for what it is intended so my question let me say i know you are positive my question is also very positive because from the experiences of rajiv gandhi it habitat it was scrapped because it was more of a real estate and less of it that's why i'm asking see your dona paula it itself was scrapped because it was more of a real estate and what has happened in goa so tomorrow we find something like that why you uh, means uh, firstly believing something negative we'll see we'll cross the bridge when we near the bridge we'll expect positive things latambar se fakt food processing atle industry ka ani kuch astana yeah fakt ami year mark kela for food processing we are very clear on that and uh, we are laying emphasis in that direction ani ek honda industry listed asane tyachat khup se shed asate band asat kitle shed ट्रांसफर फी ट्रांसफर कर Now that will be opened up for industry with this new policy and local investment corpa metal. So now, now the this thing, Rasna is trying to promote the kaju production or kaju industry in Goa. So nowadays the hills are forest are cutting and the kaju plants are cutting. So how you will help the Rasna to promote the kaju in Goa? See, it is a very good thing what uh, the Rasna people have proposed. In fact, I am very grateful to them. As you know, kaju is a hardy crop. and it grows anywhere the gau shippa naka kay naka ekda roile fokat oir sach sach shippa de ida majhe kade kaju plantation am khabar if they automatically everything will get showed up for the better production for more productivity earning more income to the goan farmers so this is bound to happen now certain things you have said have happened in the past some days cut kaju trees is that i don't want to go into that we are not sitting here for that we are sitting here to encourage newer kaju plantation to help our farmers to have more products from the kaju industry so will you put a certain no, rules for not cutting the forest or not uh, developing in the forest area or something like that there are already rules if whenever uh, such things have been brought to the <coughs> this action has been taken <coughs> what is the objective uh, behind going for logistics and warehousing see as you know logistics and warehousing was not recognized as a industry prior to our policy now we have very consciously made it a policy that it is recognized as a industry for the local that goa is it is so well located <coughs> with two airports two railways a natural port good road network it can be the biggest trading hub in the world in this part of the country and that is what we intend to do as you know most of our goans say to me lakshan dor par hai go abroad for white collar jobs trading is what you mostly they are going to be white collar jobs perhaps you they would get an opportunity to work from home come home and work they'll come back to their states we would bring the reverse drain now the drain is going out drain would perhaps be people coming back that is what we dream about what is the number of uh, jobs that you are looking you know through all these things especially when you talk about giving preference to go goans see that i cannot quantify i am not a magician to quantify the figure but it is slowly and steadily it is going to build up in a big way uh, sir when we talk about uh, logistic policy last year logistic policy has approved uh, so how many people are reached uh, uh, for invest in goa and second one is how many goan entrepreneur uh, startup has started in it 
see as far as logistics and this, it is a new thing which has just been notified, a new policy that is. But I must say the response is tremendous. All big names have come, especially in this Invest Goa, they are participating. At least I know personally three of the big companies. So we'll see how it goes. You will see it happening on the ground. So this logistics and warehousing is for the internal, for the country or for export purposes? And the second question to Mr. Dinesh uh, is that, Sir Thai, uh, why did you decide to uh, uh, put up? Uh, and that's first question to you then. Why not international, I would ask you. No, why I only know. national? No, we would also like to go international. Both national and international trading has to take place from Goa. That is my dream <coughs> because that is the type of job what Goans prefer and it would happen as a natural consequence. Now, Mr. Dinesh. Central government is focusing on IT and healthcare sectors investment. What the top three uh, sectors Goa is focusing on for investment? So let him answer the previous question yes, first. Yes, yes. So just to clarify exactly what the Honourable Minister was speaking about, the opportunity in logistics is consumer driven and customer driven. So for us as a company, we follow our customers and we follow the opportunity for a consumer. So I think wherever there is a natural opportunity to create a logistics activity. That's why the company which is invested is actually building a warehouse and then having its own customers there. We believe, to add to what the minister said, I think we believe there is a huge opportunity from the logistics sector. A, because of our customers, two, because of the consumer. So I think it's a, uh, I would call it, it's a very early day start and we wanted to take the advantage of being the, one of the first to come there. So when this logistic, where the logistics park is going to be set up in Goa, this serious logistics park, where, where do the plan be set up? We are working that out. Yeah. Okay. We are working that out. We have just uh, signed the MOU. Don't worry, we'll make it happen in a nice place. And I also want to mention here, when you talk of warehousing and logistics, there is also a company which has uh, tied up with the Central Warehousing uh, <coughs> Corporation of India. They also want to set up various warehouses because they already have their customers. So there are people coming in uh, uh, from everywhere. Now as far as health sector and uh, IT sector, you what would you yes. uh, sector is concerned? Uh, we believe that uh, non-polluting industry is a very welcome thing. IT is non-polluting. Health sector also, I don't think there is pollution. We want to build up on that and promote even health tourism for the future. It is a collective responsibility. We are all collectively working in that direction. Uh, so a few insights. Uh, thank sir. you. Uh, some of our uh, one guest question. Hands. Sir, what last oh, question? Sir. Okay, last yeah, few yeah. questions. <laughs> thank you. Uh, sir, uh, can you give us an update on uh, Imagica uh, Entertainment Park, uh, Godrej's uh, agriculture sector proposal? Is there any uh, development on that? I, for one, is very enthused when the Godrej group has told me that they want to empower the farmers in Goa. They will work very differently. They said, first let us come, make our presence felt, we'll make the farmer comfortable, they themselves will come to us. So they are going to work in that direction. Now as far as Imagica is concerned, there are there is Imagica, there are other companies who want to set up shop in the entertainment world. Entertainment is a huge word. It has got a, a very wide meaning. Many things can come up. It related to having a film city, related to having a film studio, besides having a water park, water world, and all other amusement park. So it includes everything. So we are trying to get something other than people getting uh, over with visiting temples, visiting churches, visiting beaches, and what do they do after that? So we have to get some more other activity taking place. We are on the roadmap to do that in the shortest time perhaps possible. Mr. Banerjee, you announced several announcements for CII. Can we, can we take that question? Okay. Yeah, please. Sir, if you could give some few insights upon the co some provisions which you must have uh, included for co-working hub, uh, because that would be the one which would be supporting not only ITES, but also NBFCs as well, because those are the two industries which works on 24-hour concepts. Thank you, sir. I would only like to say that this has been worked out, proposal has been pushed forward by our IT minister. He will best answer you perhaps in another forum. Go is a small place, you can ask him that time. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you, sir. And uh, thank you to all the dignitaries for sparing your time.